What's up, everybody? I'm the DCF845, and this is Caleb Ross. I'm Caleb Ross, and this is the DCF845. Is this really DeWalt's most powerful impact driver? I don't know. This is actually my first DeWalt impact driver. I've had only wrenches from them. So, my first impressions, this thing feels pretty good in the hand, you know? I really like that it has the tri-LEDs. I know most of the DeWalt impact drivers do have that tri-LEDs, but it's always nice to have your lights up by the collet. That's what I like, and the tri-LED is fantastic. This is going to give you some good lighting while you're working at nighttime. I don't know. Maybe you like to work in the dark. I typically don't, but it's nice. Whoops. In speed one, it is going to have 0 to 1500 RPM. In speed two is going to be up to 2800 RPM. And then in speed three, we are going to be 0 to 3400 RPM. 4,200 impacts a minute has a bare tool weight, two pounds exactly. Claims 1,825 inch pounds of torque. Compare it to like the M12, for example. Quick battery wobble. It's not terrible. But it's not sitting in there exactly solid, I would say. See how bad the collet wobble is. I think DeWalt has kind of been notorious for having some pretty decent collet wobble. We're going to be in speed three. We do have some movement. I would say my rigid four mode that I had was worse. But it's not exactly perfect like the Matabo HPT for example. Alright now let's get into the testing. This thing out it's gonna pop out just like that. A couple two inch construction screws here. Lots of people like to have their impact driver be very delicate and drive some small fasteners. We're gonna be in speed one and see just how delicate this thing can be. This is a two inch screw and this is speed one. Yeah, that was very delicate to me. Y'all saw it kind of stalled out right away. I'm not sure why. Let's do that again. did it again it didn't want to start for some reason it stopped i don't know if it was like calibrating like oh we're in speed one that's kind of strange that's the only impact driver that's ever done that to me do one more in speed one yeah. each time it did that that is weird i did not take my finger off the trigger at all that whole time it stalled instantaneously almost as soon as it felt any resistance, it stopped. Held it for about a second, and it continued driving the screw. That's a bit odd. Let's see what happens when we remove them. Okay. It broke it free and slowed down once it broke it free. Shut up. Alright. I think I've had enough of speed one already. A little lame for me. Let's go ahead and bump it up to speed two. We're using these same exact screws. Okay. Speed two felt pretty good. Still have a little bit of control there. Chickens are driving me crazy, man. Speed two feels pretty good. Go ahead and switch her to speed three. Okay. 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 
Yeah. This is a very smooth impact driver so far. I don't really feel any feedback in my hand at all. These are small fasteners though. Slightly bigger. These are some two and a half inch deck screws. We're going to stay in speed three. I've already had enough of speed one and speed two, you know. This is sinking the screws fairly easily. I'm liking it so far. So a lot of people like to use impact drivers to install their drywall fasteners. So we have three different two and a half inch drywall screws. Typically you have some drywall separating your screw and your wood that you're driving into. You're not typically sinking a, a drywall screw directly into the wood all the way, but let's do it anyway. That is feel, that feels pretty good. Also, I've got the DeWalt bit extension, bit extension and the number two bit to match the DeWalt today. And that has a pretty good grip on this drywall screw. Just want to point that out. Let me see something real quick. Pretty good magnetic. Let's just leave it there. Pretty good fitment on the DeWalt PH2 bit. Let's drive one more. And say I used to be a pretty big DeWalt hater. Once they started coming out with new tools, I started buying more DeWalt tools. I recently got that three tool combo kit with the 805 this impact driver and the 570 circular saw. I've had the impact wrenches for a little while now. But I'm liking this impact driver so far. I can see why people like them. Let me not speak too soon though. I like that. Now to some three inch framing screws. So. This thing is pretty good so far, honestly. Six inch GRK. We're gonna be going through two pieces of pressure treated four x four because a six inch screw is gonna go right through a four x four. Just if your math is math in a day. Okay. Three eighths by four inch lag first. Not bad. All right, so I have rem driven some fasteners. Could you guys shut up? Oh my God. I've driven fasteners, now let's go see if this thing can remove some lug nuts. Okay, so I've done a few tests with the DCF845, and so far, I'm really liking it. I've seen a lot of people have mixed reviews of this thing. It stopped working. Uh, I'm not sure if it was supposed to stall out in speed one, if that was like a mechanism intended to do that. These chickens are driving me insane, man. Anyway, we drove some fasteners that I think is perfectly acceptable for a impact driver. And we also drove some stuff that I would say isn't really intended for an impact driver also removing lug nuts not really intended for impact drivers but we did it anyway so far i think that this thing pretty nice little impact driver but i've only spent about two hours using this thing now so 
really the only thing is the test of time is what's actually going to test this thing. And for a lot of people on YouTube, it hasn't withstood the test of time. So here are some of my future plans. After I get done doing my initial reviews on all my tools and putting them head to head, we're going to do some extreme torture testing. We're going to see really what's more important. Is it going to be able to handle some extreme cold, some extreme hot? Can it be handled? Can it handle being tossed around? Can it be handle? Can it handle being buried into the ground or driving thousands of screws in a day? That's coming in the future, not today though. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the love and support I've been getting. This channel has gone up a lot quicker than I expected it to. I think I am just at 715 subscribers. I've been doing this like two months now, a little over two months. I think I'm about to hit three, actually. Uh, I'm just having a good time, man. I'm not sponsored in any way. I have continued buying all these tools out of pocket, and it's costing a pretty penny. Uh, I'm going to slow down with the purchasing of tools, though. Uh, <laughs> maybe if you guys can get me monetized, I can use that money. I don't know. Hey, just a thought. Consider liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one.